Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today Mojang released the 14W26B snapshot, and it only has a couple new features, uh, but there's some pretty cool ones. It's got a couple of new commands. First thing I'll show you is, uh, is this little thing. There's a new replace item command, and you can use it to basically move items around or add or remove items to certain slots in inventories. So that works for a chest, so I made a little animation here. A little creeper being thrown at a diamond block. And then, um, but it also works for, so let's see, here's a chest. If I take the diamond out, uh, if I press the button, the diamond goes there. Let's say I put like some cracked brick over here and here. Replace this here. So it'll replace whatever block is in that slot, etc. Um, and if you use if you use air, you can remove a block from a slot. Also works here in your inventory. So here, I'm using replace item entity at P, so that's going to find the nearest player, it's going to put it in slot 4, it's going to put a diamond there, and the name is going to be Magical Diamond, so when I press the button, my fourth slot in my inventory, which is actually, well, it's my fifth slot, but it's the index is 4. Anyway, I get a Magical Diamond here. So you can actually place things in a specific slots and in inventories. And so you can do some pretty cool stuff with inventory manipulation like you're seeing here with the animation. Uh, you could put stuff in particular slots in players inventories and then detect which slot they have selected. Pretty cool stuff. You can also give people armor for the first time ever uh, and equip it directly to their uh, body. So like in these armor slots. And so here uh, you can make like flashing armor. Here's this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just to, sort of to show the power of the replace item command. I think it's pretty neat. Um, let's see, there's some new stuff. There's, uh, so let's, I have a border here, world border. So you can now add and remove incremental uh, radius to the world border. So I'm going to add five blocks to the world border. And when I do that, it'll move. You can kind of see it moved. Let's try it again. Over, and it, you can choose like over the course of two seconds to do that. Uh, here we, you can also use negative values. So I'm uh, world border add minus five to adding a negative value. So you can add, basically you can increase or shrink the size of the world border. And so let me world border set 30 million. Let's get rid of this. Okay. And then um, there's also a new uh, in uh, execute has a new sort of option. It's the detect. Basically it's like a meta command only usable with execute. So if you execute relative to a player uh, you can detect a block and so I'm detecting if there's a gold block directly beneath the player and if there is then it runs a command. So this is pretty cool. Basically this is the first time we've ever really been able to detect blocks relative to players and then do something with that. So if I jump normally nothing happens but this thing is going to give me jump boost if I'm on top of a gold block. So jump, nothing, jump on the gold block, I get the jump boost. Step off, well after a second I lose the jump boost. And it no longer does that. So this has definitely has some potential. You can kind of chain these together by using execute, detect, execute, detect. So you can detect multiple blocks relative to the player. You can detect blocks at absolute coordinates. Um, yeah. It's got some potential. And then the last feature that I want to show you is I'm going to create a new debug world. So let's go into creative. If you hold shift while selecting the world type, you can get a new debug mode. And so let's create this world. And it'll basically this is to be used for texture, uh, texture pack makers, or I guess resource pack makers. And so let's go to game mode three. Basically what it does is it creates one of every block, every single block, every single data value. And it's kind of neat because you can see everything, basically every tile that can be displayed in the game. Uh, some, t some of them look the same, but they're actually different. Like these are all the different stages of growth, growth of the cactus. Um, but here we can see the levers. They're all like on the walls and stuff. Uh, it's recommended that you go into spectator mode while you're looking at a debug world like this. Here's these like very glad, basically bed components. It's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so new debug mode. N nothing, uh, nothing too useful unless you're a map, a map maker, really. But still kind of neat. Um, but that's really all there is for the snapshot. There were a lot of bug fixes. 
Uh, there's like a new swap feature uh, operator for the scoreboard and some other stuff like that. But uh, that's all I got to show you for the snapshots. Um, if you want to check out the change list, there's a link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching.